Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Haram and I'm soon to be a med one at the University of Manitoba in Canada. Um, recently, I've started making reels and TikToks and since then, a lot of you have been reaching out to me about my journey to medicine. So I thought I would film a little video on my journey as a pre-med and how I got to where I am today. And if you guys have any further questions, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. I'll also link my IG and my TikTok in the description below. So make sure to check it out as well. So a brief overview, I want to talk to you about what I did in high school, what I did in my undergrad, how I decided that I wanted to go into medicine, and then near the end, we'll touch a little bit on my stats, of course, my GPA, my MCAT, all that jazz, so it can help you guys put things into perspective. Okay, so let's get right into it. I immigrated to Canada 10 years ago. Um, with my family. I am originally from Pakistan. I spent about 13, 14, 14 years of my life there. And then I started high school over here in Canada. So it was a bit of a cultural shock for me, but I always knew I wanted to do medicine. And that's because my uncle and my aunt, they're both physicians and uh, they have a charity hospital back in Pakistan where I spent a lot of time growing up in Pakistan. And so I saw the healthcare side of things in Pakistan and how it runs, how it works. And uh, I could just always see myself be in that role that my uncle and my aunt were. And my dad also wanted to be a physician, but unfortunately couldn't because of circumstances. And so he always pushed me towards medicine too. But then in the end, of course, it was my choice. So fast forward high school, um, I knew I wanted to do medicine. But then again, I was hesitant because it's a long commitment. It's 10 plus years of education, a lifelong learning and you really have to be passionate about medicine you don't want to be in it for the wrong reasons so i really wanted to make sure that medicine is all i wanted to do so in high school i definitely explored many different fields i took um did a lot of extracurriculars i did junior achievement program where i got to experience business side of things accounting and then um, and by the end of it i decided that healthcare was for me i couldn't see myself do anything else so I took direct um, entrance into the Faculty of Science because at this point I was decided I wanted to um, do healthcare. So I thought that was a wiser option for me. And that's something you can do if you have 85% average in high school. But again, it's not that big of a deal. You could go into UVAL and then decide later on that you want to transfer into the Faculty of Science. It's very easy to transfer into. So anyways, I went straight into the Faculty of Science, took a whole bunch of um, whole bunch of courses that would be beneficial for the MCAT. If you guys want, I can make a detailed video on that as well. So I did that and uh, I started volunteering at Cinnamons and I also started working at a medical clinic. So now those two side gigs, what they helped me do is really see different healthcare professionals in action and what their jobs and roles entailed. Volunteering at Cinnamons, it's um, where they have clients with um, disabilities and they help them with their every day-to-day -day tasks. So I volunteered there. I would um, help the clients with physical activities or just spend quality time with them, play games. But I got to work alongside nurses, pharmacists, um, occupational therapists, speech therapists, all sorts of different healthcare workers and see like how they all come together and what their jobs entail. And at the clinic, I got to work alongside physicians, um, medical office assistants, nurses, um, human resource managers. And so I got to see the whole healthcare, as whole healthcare scene over there as well. And so at that point, I became pretty decided on medicine. And that was because I loved how physicians were able to make diagnosis. They were able to problem solve. They were... They would have patients come in with these different concerns and complaints and then they would problem solve through it and come to a diagnosis. And I also loved how you can specialize in medicine into like heart, surgery, whatever you want to do. So I became pretty decided after those experiences that I enjoyed medicine. And then in my second year, I had some exposure to research and that's where I 
sort of again was debating whether I wanted to do medicine or I wanted to go into research. So I started exploring research more. I started volunteering in an athletic therapy lab. I remember just emailing different professors, asking if they would take on a student as a volunteer. Ended up in an athletic therapy lab. Great experience, amazing mentor. Um, I got to do data collection, data analysis, participate in poster competition, different leadership opportunities. It was an amazing experience. I spent about a year in that lab. And so that was great because that also gave me the experience and exposure to get future paid positions, which is what I did. So I, um, after that, I decided to do my undergrad in microbiology because I was really enjoying microbiology courses and I was also really enjoying research. So I decided to do a major in microbiology. That's a four year degree. And then I added an additional year of co-op terms where I got to work basically in a lab and get paid and add that, make that part of my degree. So I ended up in a, as part of my, one of my co-op terms, I ended up in a Ebola research lab where they studied Ebola virus and its impact um, on public health. And that was at the University of Manitoba, Faculty of Medicine actually. So there I got to see um, research as part of medicine and how it doesn't have to be research or medicine and how physicians on a day-to-day basis actually partake in clinical research. So I was, I did not know about that prior to that. So at that point, it became clear to me that I didn't have to pick medicine or research. I could do both if I wanted and if I was still passionate about research in the future, as passionate I am about medicine. So then uh, the path was clear. I knew I wanted to go into medicine. Now it's just a matter of fact of when I get in. To talk about the stats now, I wrote my MCAT first time second year. That was just to see what the MCAT is about. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was going to go into medicine, didn't care um, what score I got. Third summer, I actually prepped and studied for the MCAT. This time got a 505. Not so competitive, but I still applied to U of M with it. Did not get an interview. Now, third summer, which is when I was in my fourth year of university and I was in between co-op terms. So I was actually doing research in the summer and then I, along with that, I was studying for the MCAT. And this time around, I got a 510 MCAT score because I had a pretty good MCAT schedule. And if you guys want, I could make a video on that as well. Just let me know in the comments. So yeah, I got a 510, again, um, not an extremely competitive score because even ex- average acceptance at U of M is like 512, 514 MCAT score. Mine was like 80th percentile exactly. So not an extremely great score, but competitive enough. So I was happy with it. I applied with it, got an interview. I practiced for the interview with a lot of pre-med students, unfortunately did not get accepted into medicine. So now I had graduated my undergrad. I did not want to retake the MCAT. I wanted to apply again with the same score. So I did that. Now I had a gap year. So in that year, I worked, continued to work at the clinic during the pandemic as a frontline worker. Then I got a job at um in the virology at Manitoba, University of Manitoba, and where I worked as a lab tech on a project for COVID vaccine and biotherapeutics. So it was a great use of my time during the pandemic and an amazing opportunity and project to be part of. So I was doing that. And then again, I got an interview at the University of Manitoba. And this time around, I finally got accepted into, and I'm super happy that I finally got in. All that hard work paid off. After my interview first time around, I was losing hope because I had graduated and I was not sure where I was gonna go. It was the middle of the pandemic. And it was just a lot of stressors, a lot of anxiety. And I was very close to giving up, but I couldn't see myself do anything else but medicine. So the decision was very clear for me to 
um, stay put on it. So my advice for you guys, especially if you're decided that you want to do medicine, that in your high school, undergrad, explore everything else. Don't just stick to things that apply to medicine. See if medicine is really something you want to do or do you see yourself fitting into another role? Because like I said earlier, it's a lifelong commitment. It's a lot of stress and it's not, it's not an easy path, it's 10 plus years of education. So you wanna make sure that you're in both feet and you see yourself doing medicine. And if you are after challenging yourself, going through all those different experiences, if you still come back to medicine and see yourself only being a physician, then you know that that's your calling and that you wanna constantly work at it, work hard for it and not give up. And doing all those different experience, exposures, different extracurriculars that might not even necessarily apply to medicine, you can still take a lot of valuable skills from them that you can talk about in your personal statements or like applications to these states, or you can talk about in your um, essays for Ontario schools or your interview for MMI and different medical schools. So there's a lot of valuable skills that you can take from those different experiences. And it makes you unique, to be honest, to having experiences other than just research, clinic, volunteering. So do explore those and see what you end up deciding in the end. And that way, you know why you chose medicine. So that's my biggest piece of advice for you guys. And until next time, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, do all of those things so I can like continue making more videos and uh, help you guys in any way I can. And make sure to comment if you guys have more video ideas for me. Thank you. Until next time.